welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to integrate linkedin login in your asp.net web application so we will be watching all the steps to integrate linkedin login so first of all what you need is you need one client id and client secret for your purpose so you have to type linkedin developer and there you have to click on this first link here and here you will go to my app if you don't see my apps here then you can log in your account log linkedin account and uh, after login you will see this screen here so here what you have to do is you have to create a new app here click on that here you have to type your app name so we can say test code tonight and then you have to add the linkedin page now remember uh, you have you will need one linkedin page for creating your app if you don't have any page then you have to create a new linkedin page you can right click on that uh, and open in a new tab here also you will need to log in with one account and then you will need to create one company page so uh, one thing you have to remember is uh, your company page must be from a account that have more than 500 connections so once you create that company page you can actually select the company page from here i have already created one company page that we will see okay so after selecting that what you have to do is you can put any privacy policy url here now you have to upload a logo here so i will select some random image so i will select some random image here uh, I will choose some kind of logo or something that must be a logo so I will download my website logo here save in the downloads and here I will click on upload and we will select the downloaded logo so my logo is downloaded here now you have to click on I have read the terms and click on create app so now what you have to do is you you can actually go to auth and you will see your client ID and client secret here but before that you have to make some changes you have to go to products and you have to click on select here share on linkedin you have to click on i have read the terms and add product and now after you do that you have to click on sign in with linkedin click on that i have read the terms and add product again So now you have to go to auth and here you will see auth write redirect URLs for your app. Now this is a URL where your app will redirect after successfully uh, login to LinkedIn. Okay, so we will pass one URL here that we will use later in the code. So I have used this URL in the code. So I will add this now this is a local host application and this is the controller name and this is the action name that i will use so i will update here now your code is ready now we will copy the client id from here and we will go to our application and i will explain the code but first of all i will replace the client secret client id and uh, also I will check the redirect URL. So client ID I have replaced here and I will also check the client secret. So I have also changed the client secret here. Now you can see that this URL is the same that we have entered here. So we have to use the same URL. Now talking about this code, first we will execute this code and then we will 
understand what it is doing. So I will run the application with the my client ID and client secret replaced. Now you will see the application is running. Now one thing you have to notice that this is the same action method that I have written here. So this must be same and we have home controller here. So we have written home here also. So this must be same everywhere. Only then your LinkedIn login can work. So here we have button login with LinkedIn. I will click on that and it will redirect to login screen. Now you can see here it is saying test code tonight, which is our app name. We would like to use your name and photo. Now once you allow what it will do, it will redirect to the redirect LinkedIn, which is the uh, redirect URL that we have passed in the app. Now you can see we have got the code here and we have to use that code letter. So first API that we will use is the access token API. Uh, you will need to pass few parameters to that API. One of them is code that you have got from top. And then you will need to pass the redact URI also. This must be same. And then we have to pass client ID and client secret. So I have created a request and now I will execute the request and what you will get in response is a access token you can check here. Now this access token we have to pass in another API. Now this API is for getting the email address and I will provide you the link of all this code so you can copy from there. So I have passed the token here you can see and uh, there is one more API so uh, we cannot get uh, all the information from one single API so I have used two APIs here one of them is email address which will provide the email address the other one is for the first name last name and other things so I have created two client requests here and here I will uh, execute them one by one so we will see the response that we will get now this is the response that you will get from email API so here you can see we have the name here we have some other data that we have saved in the LinkedIn profile so you can check which data you need this is the all the response that we are getting from LinkedIn now the second API that we will execute is request to and here what we have received is we have received email address and that's the only information here so these are the two apis now for getting the user detail i have added a method here and you can we have dc like the string here that we are getting so this is the data that we are getting and we have also dc like the second request for getting the email address so you can see the email address is here that we have entered while login so this is how you can integrate linkedin login in your system so after, uh, after authentication you can redirect to your home page or wherever you want uh, for getting the source code i will provide you the link with the uh, video but uh, you can also go on codetonight.com this is our official website and here you can scroll down and you will see uh, a blog for integrating LinkedIn login in ASP.NVC. So you can click on that blog and there you will find the attachment. You can download the attachment from here or you can even scroll down for all the steps that I have showed you. Now this is the code that you can copy directly or you can check the working solution. Uh, from download attachment also and if you have any issue about the blog or if you face any kind of error then you can comment in the video uh, if you like the video then don't forget to share and uh, uh, keep watching